Welcome back to Let's Play Terranigma! Last time we saved the plants of the world, and now we are up here in North American Great Cliff. And, uh, our job here is to revive the birds. And as you can see, the enemies here are pretty tough at first. And uh, this is one of the areas I like to do a little bit of level grinding. Well, I got to level 10 already, that's good. That'll really help out. Especially that defense there, that'll be really good. These guys hit pretty hard. Be careful if they're uh, punch like that. It's a good idea to just use your slicer back and forth on these guys. But, um, I'm really gonna wait a little bit to take out a lot of the enemies. I mean, I'll just fight whatever I can on the way, I guess, but... There's a weapon upgrade in here that will make life a lot easier for you. And once I get that, I'm gonna do some level grinding. And... Yeah, the guy comes out of that rock, so I'll just throw those rocks at him. Boom, he's dead. And boom goes the dynamite. Uh, check up here first. And we have another little cave entrance. Ah, uh, here's how we get to that treasure. And it is a strength potion. Gonna use that right away. That'll help out even more. I mean, just from this one point of strength, we're gonna see a noticeable difference in our attack output. So watch out, you rocky bastards. Your time is coming. Okay, these guys, uh, they are quite difficult to kill. The only way to get them is to use a jumping attack, either a standing one or damn, sliding one. How'd I miss again? I'll try to kill this guy if I can. There we go. One hit in. Okay. I guess you have to wait for them to be completely out. Yeah, those guys are a little bit difficult to kill, so if you don't want to, just leave them alone. There, see? Right when we came in here, we were doing about 4 damage to these guys per slicer attack. And after gaining 1 strength from the level and 1 strength from the strength potion, we're now dealing in the teams. I think one more level we'll probably be doing. 30s, 40s maybe. But actually, the new weapon we're going to be getting really soon will help out a lot because it's strong against uh, rock-type enemies. Yes, some of the weapons do have elemental attributes to them. The one we have now, I don't think it does. Okay, uh, watch out for those Quaker guys. So when they jump like that, they will immobilize you. So if you see a shadow, if you have good enough reflexes, just, um, jump, and the tremors won't affect you. There we go, these guys aren't too hard now at level 10 with, the, uh, with that strength upgrade. Alright, so we pass up that, that door up there, and uh, let's head down here. Uh, anything to the left? Uh, not for now. And uh, those cliffs there with the holes in them, uh, we'll deal with that later. Okay, uh... Stupid mud doll thing. Ow. 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 Okay, nuts to that. Those guys are pretty hard to fight in confined spaces like that. And this is the room where I like to gain quite a few levels. Uh, both these guys give you 35 experience points, so you just enter and exit the room over and over again, and you'll just rack up experience pretty quickly. Alright, uh, these guys turn into enemies, and I didn't want to do that. Be careful of these guys. There we go, not too bad. And here we get 
the rock sphere. Ooh. Our damage output's gonna go up really quickly. And yeah, a rock fell in our way. Huh, guess what we have to use to get rid of that? First let's equip the rock equip the rock sphere. And go bam! Alright, so let's go back down here, and, okay, whatever, there we go, yeah, see, well, that was a critical hit, but, let's show that again, so I think it might be easier to come in through the bottom stairs, or the bottom door. Alright, so I'm gonna level up to about level 13 or so in here. Just show you a few more times. That guy just drops out, just slice him like that, and there you go. Easy level. There we go, I'm at level 13 now. Now it's time to uh, go on with this place. I'm not doing any level grinding. Here specifically because this part or the next part is really difficult, but um, it really pays to keep your levels up and it'll help towards the, uh, the the big part of level grinding that we're gonna have to do a little bit later for one specific boss. If you've played this game before, you know what it is. Alright, so now that we have the rock spear, we can head up here. Well, not that we did before, but yeah. And just jump across this pit. It looks a little bit like it looks a little bit like it could be too far, but it's all right to jump. You just have to be dashing. Like Ark, Ark's really dashing. All right, so let's just keep going out here. I wish you could just drop down these vines instead of having to climb down them. It's kind of annoying. Oh well. And as you can see, my HP is pretty low right now, but it should be okay for the rest of this place. Because I gained quite a few points of defense while level leveling up too. And if worse comes to worse, we have a ton of balls, we have the grass pins, so... We're in really good shape. Yeah, and you needed the rock spear to get through those bridges there. Stupid bird. I hate these birds. It's so hard to hit. <laughs> there we go. Stupid mud dog. And stupid birds. Stay still so I can kill you. Thank you. They can be a little bit hard, but um, just uh, use the uh, whatever the rushing attack, whatever it's called. And they should go down. Okay, so uh, yeah, I don't know if there's really a point where you're supposed to drop out there. I think there's one layer that has a magic rock at the end. But you have to take a certain path. We'll see. Go over to the left first. That's where we need to go because obviously there's no other way. <laughs> okay, nothing to do over there. Okay, we have these little Quaker guys. A little bit hard to hit. Um, I guess you have to be a certain distance before they come out of their holes. Long enough. I hate whack a mole. There we go. Uh, 
Gotcha. a bit of our health. I guess I'm still in critical. I don't really have to worry about it. And we got a med drop. Oh, I didn't need to kill those guys anyway? Oh, I thought you did. Oops. <laughs> okay, we have more Quakers here. So we'll just take them out. Slider attack, slicer attack, whatever you want. I guess I could just be using the slicer because they're not jumping up. Uh, oops. That was pretty stupid of me. Alright, let's uh, go back. What was I thinking? Oh boy. That was really dumb. And you didn't dro drop any gold. You didn't drop any gold either. Come on, drop some gold. I got plenty of it from grinding up to level 13. Still. Okay, I think we were on the screen before. Not sure. Okay, uh, we have a little shining object there, which turns out to be the shark claws. Now we can climb those mountains there with the holes in them. Oh, come on, that's a cheap shot. There we go. Hmm, yes, Ow, you jerk. You jerk! Die! Oh, it's just out of my reach. Oh, well, I should be able to get up now. Hooray, and here we get... Well, that was all just for an end ball. What a ripoff. Oh well, I guess the S bulbs are becoming a little bit obsolete right now. Only recovering 20 HP. Yeah, that's not too good. Alright, so uh, let's head back on over to the right here. Come on, Ark, move your parachute padded ass. Climb up here. See what's up. Uh, don't think we've been here before. So let's see. Okay, so actually we've been in this cave before, but over to the left side of it. There you go. Stupid Quaker and stupid bird. See what's up, door number two. Okay, uh, I didn't get immobilized because he landed on top of me, which sounds like it'll be even more painful. Probably paralyze you or something. Okay, um, yeah, let's see what's down here. Oh, I think this is the one with the Majorock in it. I think you have to go left. No, you have to go right there. Yeah, I missed the Majorock. Oh, well. If you want to get that Majorock, go right. And, yeah, let's climb down this vine here. I forgot what those little guys are called. Oh, we're back at the first screen. Hmm. In this cave, though. Oh, it's a life potion. Yay! Let's use that. Gain five more HP. Always nice to have. Uh, use it. Thank you. Alright. So. I think all we really have to do now is just find where the boss is. Kill that guy. Grrr. Okay. I'm into the 
right yet. Oh, nice. Got rid of those guys pretty easily. Yep, so I think this will lead up to the boss. Looks like it. I may have missed a few things here and there. A few useless treasures. Oh well. <laughs> I at least missed that Magirock, which I'm not too concerned about. Like I said, I only really use magic for usually the grass pins. And maybe the uh, next kind of pins that we're gonna get. Okay, now here we have the boss. Didn't give me an introduction there, but it's uh, some bird. And uh, can't hit him yet. Avoid his uh, projectiles there. Get over here, you. Get down where I can hit you. Oops. <laughs> okay, uh, there's no editing there. I guess it just uh, starts you off at the same place if you fall off, and wow, that was pretty easy. Oh, Dark Twins, okay. Wow, that was a really easy boss. But, uh, yeah, level 13, I guess. All the strength I got really helped out. Might take a few more hits if you're at level 11 or so, which you should be at if you're not doing any level grinding. And here we have a cue ball. No, that's an egg, I think. And yay, we resurrected the birds. Now we're going to have to deal with pigeon crap all over our face. Great job, Ark. Alright, so we rescued the birds. But what will that do for us? I guess we're going to have to find out next time on Let's Play Terranigma. See you next time.